coming up on Rate That Plate. Hello, and welcome to Tap TV's Rate That Plate, the series where strangers compete to see who has the better dish. In today's episode, we invited four different strangers to see who has the best banana pudding. And I don't know about you, but I love me a good banana pudding. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, okay? And make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. My name is Quilisha Barfield. I'm the owner of Fuse Cakes in Columbus, Ohio. My name is Lorraine. And my business is the Cakery LLC. My name is Sharif Abdurrahman Smith. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. My business is Sharif's Pie and Stuff. My name is Jasmine from Columbus, Ohio. And I don't have a business. Should I not say I don't have a business? No. Yes, do it again. I'll just say where I'm from. Okay, bet. Okay. Jasmine and I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I think my banana pudding is the best because I'm definitely bringing something different. Uh, a lot of people use bananas in their banana pudding. Some don't, but, uh, but most do. I use strawberries because it has a longer life. Because it's made with love. Everything that I do is made with love, and I think love is always the most important ingredient in dessert. I think that my banana pudding is the best because it's homemade and it's just like um, your regular banana pudding that you would get like at a family cookout or at your grandma's house. My banana pudding is the best because I make it with love and passion and I use the best ingredients. I think my dish stands out because um, historically since I've started making this dish Everyone that tries it says that it reminds them of home or a family member, whether it be their grandma or their mom that has passed away. So I think that's what makes it special. Well, this here is my banana pudding, and the most thing that stands out is my crust down here. I hand press and make this um, from scratch, and uh, that's the best part that everyone talks about my, my banana pudding. I mean, what makes mine stand out, man, is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's creamy. It's extra creamy. It has a nice strawberry finish to it, you know what I mean? So, my dish um, stands out because I like to do my banana pudding in like, layers. So, I think a banana pudding is like a, a like banana lasagna. I think it looks really yummy. I've never had strawberry in my banana pudding. Um, I love cold banana pudding. It's it's nice and chilled, and the cookies look a little bit soft, which I think is also important because I don't want a crunchy cookie in my banana pudding. Um, it looks nice. It's a good presentation. I like how he has it in a container and his little um, sticker and logo with his number on it, and it has a good presentation to it. Um, so the dish looks pretty. It looks kind of like there's not enough banana pudding in there. It's like a lot of cookies, but I can't wait to try it. It actually has a light smell. I can't smell a lot of banana. It smells like cookie and a little pudding and strawberry. Mmm, it's smelling. I'm definitely getting a hint of the strawberry in there. So kind of like strawberry, like custardy maybe. But I can smell, maybe it's strawberry glaze. I would say like a strawberry glaze scent. Maybe the strawberry is overpowering the banana. It tastes like strawberry and cookie. I don't really get a banana pudding. Taste, I taste more strawberry and cookie. <laughs> it's sweet. It's very sweet. I taste a lot of strawberry with a hint of banana. And I would say for me, if I'm eating banana pudding, my mouth is ready for banana pudding. And so in that regard, I'm a little disappointed. It's good though, but it reminds me more of like a punch bowl cake. I don't know if you're familiar with punch bowl cake, but punch bowl cake is yummy. 
Um, bananas are in punch bowl cake, but this reminds me more of punch bowl cake than banana pudding. Kind of cakey with uh, the amount of um, like wafers that are on top and like underneath. So I would say it's like, gives me more of like a banana cake vibe. One out of 10, I'll give it a six. For banana pudding, I would probably say four. Only because it doesn't quite taste like banana pudding. And I don't actually, I didn't taste any banana. On a scale of one to 10, I would probably give it a seven. So this, this dish reminds me of more like a cheesecake because of the uh, crust on the bottom and then it kind of has the banana pudding on top. The cakery looks pretty good. So then we got the crushed cookie at the bottom. Looks like it might be a little bit of graham back down there too. I think it's cute. I love the stickers on the front and how the business card is attached. Might steal that idea. Again, it's chilled, which is my favorite type of banana pudding. I do like warm banana pudding, but I prefer chilled, but it's really cute. I'm getting kind of like a cookie vibe, I guess. It smells really sugary. Like pure bananas. It smells like pure banana. Now this one, does, this one doesn't have the fragrance that the first one had. The first one got them right off the rim. Uh, smell of banana slash vanilla -y kind of smell, kind of fragrance, you know what I mean? This one, I can kind of smell the cookie, but I can't really smell the pudding. Sure, I get everything in there. That banana pops. This one, if I may say, and I could be wrong, this has kind of a coconut slash banana cream kind of flavor to it. I like that, that's very original. It's kind of bland, I would say. Um, the banana pudding definitely has more It's cookie heavy, which I like. I can't really get a scoop at the bottom. The pudding is has a very nice texture to it. It's not it's not runny or anything like that. It's good. I didn't taste the banana, but I know there's bananas in here. I can see it. I just didn't get it in my first two scoops. So then you're kind of just left with like the pudding and just whipped cream, which is kind of. I would rate this one. I would rate this one a six and a half. Uh, one to ten, I would give it a five. Mm, I would probably give this one a six. It looks pretty. I like the little display on top. So this is in a cute cup. I like it. It's very festive and colorful. And I like the little dome top. Okay, uh, very cute. You know what I'm saying? I like the cup with the dots and everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it tells you took time to put the cream on top, the way she put the whipped cream on top. Put the sprinkles on there and gave us two cookies up top. You know, I like that. It's real nice. It has the crumbles around it. So I think the presentation is beautiful. Okay, I get a vanilla wafer, banana smell from it. Got a nice aroma, banana pudding smell. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells pretty good. This smells good. Bananas and cookies, that's what it smells like. Very, um, very creamy. Got a very uh, uh, creamy texture to it. It tastes like banana pudding. Yes, yeah, um, it's good. It has a nice banana pudding taste to it. I like the texture. So this is like light and airy. I'm getting more of like a mousse texture from the um, banana pudding. So it, you can tell like it was definitely like probably whipped or some type of 
It was put on some type of machine to give it like that airy, fluffy feeling. Uh, you have some crumbs at the bottom and at the top. I think that's some uh, some ram cracker crust actually. I don't want the 10, I'll give hers a six and a half. Six and a half because I didn't get like a good a portion of like banana and cream and pudding. I had to kind of get it together and find it. You just keep on eating, Sharif. We'll get back to you. One to ten. I'm gonna give this one. Hmm. We're gonna give it a nine. I'm gonna rate this banana pudding. Honestly, I would give it a seven. Doesn't look appetizing, I'll tell you that one. <laughs> uh, they look like, uh, honestly, this one looks like it might have just got done. Presentation wise, I would say it kind of reminds me of like family cookout, you know, like someone made a big bowl of banana pudding and they were scooping it out, which I'm totally okay with. Um, I think that. It looks like meringue on like a lemon meringue pie. Um, and I don't see bananas, but there might be bananas in there. So hopefully when I taste it, I can taste bananas. It looks a little runny. <laughs> um, it didn't get a chance to sit. Um, it smells like banana pudding. <laughs> it just smell like cream. Get no banana pudding or no wafer smell from me. I, I think I'm seeing why it might be a little loose. I'm thinking of, I'm smelling some, I think I smell some liquor in here. I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? I think I smell some liquor in here. Very banana y, if that's a word. Like the little ball banana pudding. <laughs> it tastes good. I got a big piece of banana. I'm seeing something more like. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It tastes like banana pudding though. It's definitely not <clears throat> homemade. It tastes very light. I do like that it tastes like banana pudding. I would like more cookies though. There's like cookie crumbles, but I'm a cookie person when it comes to banana pudding. So that's the only thing I would say is more cookies. I would actually give it a six. The flavor on this one is very very bland. <laughs> a three. <laughs> I'll have to get this one a three. I'll have to get this one a three. Feels great. Feels great. I'm really excited that everyone liked the banana pudding.